The summer's fourth case of Triple E has been confirmed in Massachusetts, and the family and friends of a Fairhaven woman are telling us she has died from the virus. The woman had been hospitalized at Tufts Medical Center. Good evening, everyone. I'm Katie Brace. And I'm Ken McLeod. State officials are confirming a fourth case, but not confirming a name. This would be the state's first death from eastern equine encephalitis in several years. The story tonight from WBZ's Tiffany Chan. Lori, Sylvia's family is understandably devastated by all of this because it all happened so quickly. They believe she is that fourth triple E victim confirmed here in Massachusetts. She had been receiving treatment at Tufts Medical Center in Boston, but as we learned today, she didn't make it. All it took was one mosquito bite causing an infection that spiraled out of control. Of all people, uh this person got bit, and it could have been anybody. A friend of Lori Sylvia tells us she passed away Sunday after contracting triple E, Eastern Equine Encephalitis. The Fairhaven woman had just celebrated her 40th wedding anniversary weeks before she fell ill. The mood of shock, actually. I mean, uh, because if anything that... Uh, we're, we're blaming an event that she was at celebrating her 40th wedding anniversary along the beach with a bunch of friends. Symptoms can range from a fever and a headache to swelling of the brain. Fairhaven is in a high risk triple E zone. That's why the town closed its parks from dawn until dusk, even before this tragedy. How much prevention can you do? Because uh, if, whether you spray or whether you wear dark clothes or watch what you're doing, mosquitoes are opportunistic and they'll, they'll find a way to bite you anyway. The risk for infection isn't over until the first killing frost of the year. And to prevent triple E infection, the best way is to avoid mosquito bites by wearing insect repellent and covering your skin by wearing long sleeves and pants. In Fairhaven, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News. 37 communities are now listed at high or critical risk for the Triple E virus. Earlier tonight, aerial spraying took place to control mosquitoes in parts of Middlesex and Worcester counties. While spraying reduces the risk, it does not eliminate it. Health officials say you should avoid outdoor activities in the dawn or dusk hours.